Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on. What we're gonna do is talk about love and money. We'll start with money, all right? Let's see what's going on for my money. Money. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? They want their money, okay? Uh, so, Four of Wands. You could receive a big contract, um, Scorpio, or you could something's going to come into you where you fulfill some big contract. This is the end of a project. Um, maybe you do home decoration or um, you completed something. You finished the track or the CD or the, the album, um, you finish something that, uh, it's something where you have to do something. It's, it's like a creative energy plus action being taken. Um, you get a big contract, you feel like you just wanna go out and celebrate, um, take loved ones out. It's something, um, you know, pretty big happens for you. There could even be reunion in terms of money, if something comes back around for you, the door opens up again for you. Um, you found stability in, in what you've done or you got to a place of knowing that this is what you should be doing solidified in your, in your union or in your industry. So something about solidification, it's gonna be a big party also. You could be paying for a big party, eloping or paying for somebody. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so we got Sagittarius showing up. Um, this could be your partner's birthday or, yeah, birthday or party or, it's like you're trying to do something to make this person change or change their position about something. You're trying to come to a happy compromise in terms of your money. It says that you need to do something in moderation. If this is you paying for a big party or paying to celebrate or paying to take loved ones out, do something in moderation. Don't spend a lot of money. Don't make it too big, too grand. Um, slow down. Um, yeah, slow down. Moderation. If you want change, you need to be the change. You know, for your life doesn't get better by wanting change, but it's actually being the change. Getting something together, getting your life together also. This could be partying and drinking, spending a lot of money on that. Let's see what's going on. Um, yeah, this is the King of Cups. That could be you, uh, Scorpio, male or female. Definitely male showing up. Um, somebody has a lot of friends. A lot of love partners, um, getting together, hanging out, having a good time. Could be dealing with a Libra. Libra did come out. It could be somebody's birthday soon or your birthday or somebody's preparing for a big party or preparing to do something big or major. Um, maybe even preparing for a union. You could be concerned about business matters, but you're also you got a big contract now you want to celebrate spending money before you have it need to do something in moderation be concerned about the business or business matters also one more card for scorpio yeah the pisces card hangman so um yeah with uh yama in reverse or the nine of pentacles in reverse it's like you weren't solidified in your business and your self just yet don't spend the money you don't have or don't spend money you have but you know that you need to use it over here to do this or to start that you need to go into complete inertia and really ask yourself why haven't you had what you really want and it might be because you're overdoing it or you you need to do something in moderation or you need to make some significant changes there could be a big um you know expense that comes up you're gonna have to pay a lot of money for it so you need to save okay it could be business related it could be anything related but it's a big ex expense that comes up and you need to save for it um you need to let something go you need to make some sacrifices in your finances with the hangman yep sacrifice here 
maybe you don't need that eight dollar coffee every day i don't know but some sacrifice happening five fifteen could be significant to you i think it talks about definitely moderation five fifteen could be significant to you look that up uh let's see what's going on for you in love what's happening for scorpio in love all right so we got the king excuse me the queen of cups so you get king and queen of of cups here um but on different sides in your money and then in love okay so in love you could be kind of closed down to an emotional relationship or to someone penetrating your heart um you could be healing from a breakup a breakdown um you could be healing from a divorce separation here you may have a child with you may be a single parent um, the world egg or the fool card. Yeah, you're starting something new. You're getting back out there you're on the dating scene. A lot of people see you as fun and fit and fabulous. Um, you may feel like you met the one or somebody feels this way about you. You could just be re-entering the dating scene also. This looks like no strings attached, carefree connections. You, you're not sure where it will go and you're not really caring. You have three of cups. So it's just like you're meeting people, you're hanging out. Um, this is what, what you're doing. This is what you're excelling. This is what you want to be doing. You have the eight of wands. You could be on some type of dating site or maybe getting hooked up with by friends or in friend groups or meet somebody in a friend group and then it takes off rather, rather big or it goes fast for you. Um, you're not looking for a committed relationship. Your heart chakra is closed. You don't believe in love no more. Somebody hurt you. Or you're really hurt. Or you need to really deal with that hurt there. Um, closed off. Two women. Um, two men. There's a woman who needs to heal her heart. And then there's a man who's closed off. Two women. Um, therefore, not understanding the dynamic of relationships. Or what women want from him. Or not being able to give it. Or um, not being able to have an intimate, a long-lasting intimate connection. Close, vulnerable connection. Not sexual one, but a close vulnerable intimate connection not being able to bond um it could because somebody keeps you know um like a a ring of women a ring of men in love it's like somebody wants love a female wants love but her heart is all fucked up because she might have been an exotic dancer did something in regards to where her body her sexuality was exchanged for money doesn't make her a bad person but it does make it hard for her to bond with um you know said individual one individual um so somebody needs to just go do the therapy go do that and and um, everything gonna be all right right um let's see let's get you some advice moving forward yeah communicate clearly what it is you want um Communicate clearly is coming out for you because it's just what I just talked about. Some of you are acting as if you want love, and maybe you do, but then you're, everything else about you says, I'm closed off to it. I don't trust it, or I don't trust love, or I don't trust myself in love, or I don't. So something about communicating clearly, this is mixed signals. Maybe you're giving them off to someone. Yep. Can't make it up. At the bottom of the deck, it says be assertive. So you got to be clear, you got to be confident in what it is you want. If you just want carefree connections, then do that. Um, if you want love, but then you're having carefree connections, you send in mixed signals to the universe and yourself. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading. I can't make this stuff up. Look, carnality, sex, drugs, cars, image, status. Somebody's involved in that or they were involved in that, but now they want like a committed relationship but they having a hard time bonding um get your own personal reading come let's talk about it let's drill down on this come up with a plan of action so you can get the results that you want that's what it's all about right results catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i do collective reading and then i answer your questions go over to the website and book your own reading there readings are 40 percent off Use code 40 off at the website level. Thank you, Scorpio, right? Take care, many blessings.